I pray or communicate with God? I want to hear guidance, but when I listen, I hear nothing. Any tips? So how do I pray? I like that you said pray. Um, I wonder about that in some people's experience. Prayer is more like a petition or constantly in asking for things and being in a place where you're, you know, in a humble, low place in relationship to the divine and you're letting God be the almighty and yet you're separate from that. Notice that when you're thinking in terms of separation, then you can't help but feel as though you're in a deficit. So when you say, how do I pray? I want to hear guidance, but when I listen, I hear nothing. Let's just practice this for one minute now. I'm gonna give you a tangible taste of how you can hear the divine. First of all, drop into your heart. You might be in your head where you can hear that, all the this and that and commotion of life where the ego speaks to us, the constant running dialogue in the committee. Let yourself just take a nice big deep breath. Feel as though when you take that big in breath, you're clearing out your mind, just like a breeze that came through to blow the wash hanging outside. Just feel the breeze and let your whole mind be just free and clear. And now drop down to your heart. And when you drop down to your heart, feel this, just feel this in a way that you're knowing and accepting and receiving that you're cherished beyond what you could ever know with your intellectual mind. You're loved impeccably and completely, unconditionally. And you're seen. I see you as perfection. And now let your heart, may have layers of armor around it, break open. Just let your heart receive that now. Let your heart feel that knowingness that it has innately, that this is the truth. This is the truth. You are impeccably loved. You've never been dropped. You can be at one with who you truly are now. No need for play acting or gyrations or any work at all. Just come back to the center and drop down to your heart. And you'll feel now, if you haven't been hearing answers, if you're praying, maybe you're asking for things continually and the divine has already answered whatever we could ask, already has answered. But if we're continuing to ask, then it means we don't believe we have it and we are not receiving. So whatever it is we're most definitively focused on is what we get. So if you can just drop down into your heart and be receptive, then the next time a question comes up or a prayer or a petition comes up, it's going to be coming from your knowing heart as though your answer is already given. And even before you can come up with something that you're asking for, you're going to get a wise knowing that just relax, just be in me, of me and through me, and your answer is already given. Whatever you could need, your needs are met. Now this takes trust for someone who's been separate for a long time, but what it takes more of is surrender. Surrender to your one true heart. So drop down, get used to just abiding in your heart space without asking for anything, but just being still and open and receptive. And you might wanna put your hands out when I used to begin to meditate early on, when I just began meditating and didn't have much of a practice yet, I used to always sit with my hands out and I wasn't sure why, it just felt so nice. And then I realized how receptive it felt. It felt like I was opening more. I had my hands out, so my heart was nice and wide. And I felt like I was having a blank mind, which allowed for my heart to receive. I let the thoughts come and go. And at first it was the racing, you know, whole clouds, stormy clouds in the sky. Then the clouds began to separate and I saw that there was actually vastness in between the thoughts. I started to focus more on that mind that was just empty and free. But the real kick was when I started to drop down to my heart. And then I realized it was armored. In the beginning, it was so armored, my heart, when I first started to meditate, that it felt like, uh, you know, sheet metal. 
on there. I had I I didn't even know how I had broken my own heart from having been so defensive when my true nature was love, and I had been defensive and and conditional and and vigilant for you know all the things that could have hurt me in life, and I didn't know how armored I was until I started to meditate and then little by little this heart started to open, and literally it was like it was clamped shut. So take your time. The whole point is to love yourself, to get to know love so that you can know how loved you are, so you can know you are loved, so that you can know you're one with God. So just take your time and be gentle with yourself, but drop down to your heart and begin to pray in this heart space. When you start to get answers, they're going to feel more like hear, feel. You'll hear, feel, because you'll feel the answer and know the answer to be true. It'll be in your heart that you hear it. Remember here, everyone is worthy of this. Everyone has access to this. Everyone is being called to this, to communicate and listen and hear with your heart of hearts that voice for God, the voice of your own true self, your divinity. Cool.